During COVID, we saw how devastating an infectious pandemic can be. But another infectious epidemic, tuberculosis, has always been around us. As per government data, tuberculosis has been responsible for more deaths annually than what we had experienced even during the peak of COVID. At 2.5 million cases every year, India accounts for nearly a quarter of the world's TB cases. The Indian government runs the largest TB program in the world, yet treatment for the disease poses multiple challenges. High incidence rates of TB keep the healthcare sector and the doctors under tremendous stress. मैं मुंबई में रहता हूँ और मैं फिटनेस ट्रेनर हूँ जब भी फर्स्ट टी बी बढ़ रहा तभी स्कूटम टेस्ट सिर्फ किया था और मेडिसिन सिक्स मंथ तक चला था तो अभी जब भी सेकेंड टाइम टी बी हुआ था तो तभी मुझे जैसे ही पता चला कि मुझे पॉजिटिव है टी बी तो मुझे वाइफ और मेरे सन को उनके घर भेज देना पड़ा था लिमिटेड आज ही मैं वर्क कर सकता था दिन में उसके हिसाब से फाइनेंशियली तो मुझे लाइक बहुत अफेक्ट हुआ था जैसे ही पता चलता है किसी को कि टीबी है तो लोग बात करना बंद कर देते हैं दूर दूर रहते हैं पर एक्चुअली वो उल्टा जिसे जो पेशेंट रहता है वो उसको डिप्रेस कर देता है टीबी is the silent killer in terms of the communicable diseases which we are looking at and it is growing day by day in spite of all the efforts which we and the government are putting to decrease its burden the number of patients who we have to treat for tuberculosis is a lot and of those there are a lot of patients who don't come back to you for the treatment maybe because of the stigma attached to it maybe because of the financial problems which they are facing at home jab sari dawaye jo tb mein istemal ho rahi hain wo agar un dawaon se wo sensitive hai to isko hum sensitive tuberculosis kehte hain aur agar usme se koi drug resistance ho gaya to use hum drug resistant tuberculosis kehte hain so this patient came to us with a diagnosis of multi drug resistant tuberculosis so we had started her on the conventional therapy of multi drug resistant tuberculosis where she was taking injectables and multiple drugs and she had to take it for one one and a half years even after that her culture for tuberculosis came out to be positive and it was coming out positive in all serial cultures and we were not able to figure out what to do next the right therapy can cure the patient in 6 to 12 months but therapy treatment sometimes lingers for several years like the one the doctor mentioned to us about Kiran For many patients like them the treatment cycle of the disease is extremely long and difficult Drug resistant tuberculosis bahut tarah ke hote hain Jab hum drug resistance ki baat karte hain to whole genome sequencing ki baat turant aane lagti hai aur especially jab covid pandemic ke dauran ye genome sequencing has become very popular so now the labs are there which is doing gene sequencing for tuberculosis also and to, to me the advantage of gene sequencing is that for all 18 drugs we have in one go you can know that whether the patient is sensitive to those drugs or patient is resistant to those so yes to me it is very advantageous test WGS the whole genome sequencing will give me that 16 drug sensitivity in days in comparison to 6 weeks so i can start the patient on correct treatment at a earlier date is baar jab bhi doctor ne suggest kiya tha WGS test karne ke liye to test karne pe doctor ne bataya ki medicines kaun sa suit ho raha hai mujhe wo pata chalega to taki wo process fast ho jayega mera treatment ka we subjected her to undergo the wgs testing in that wgs testing it came out that 
the moxifloxacin drug which is given for tuberculosis which came out to be positive in the other tests which were done was actually resistant and we had to replace it with something else and that is when we started to see results in her where her culture started to become negative after 3 to 4 months of treatment after we changed the medicines according to the WGS sequencing tests. Look, the government has a very ambitious plan for TB elimination program. India has said in 2018, none other than, but it was the Prime Minister of this country, that we will end TB, we'll move towards elimination by 2025. But this is somehow because of the COVID pandemic. We have seen little setback, but now it is again coming on the track and things are moving very fast. Treatment of TB sometimes can take up to three to four years due to the time taken in identifying the right medicine combination for each patient. New technologies like whole genome sequencing will reduce this time to days and can enable the right treatment from the start of the therapy. The public and private healthcare setup have been collaborating for over 20 years with the mission to eliminate TB in India. This effort is getting a boost with startups bringing new technologies for diagnostics and patient care in TB. One such startup, Haystack Analytics, is making the technology of whole genome sequencing for TB accessible to the masses. Haystack Analytics, an IIT Bombay-based startup, was funded by BIRAC to develop the whole genome sequencing-based TB diagnostic solution. This technology, which till recently was only available for TB patients in developed countries like the United Kingdom, has now been made in India by Haystack Analytics and has already benefited close to 10,000 patients in the country. World Health Organization and the Government of India are on a mission to end TB. India has set the target of eliminating TB by 2025. This would require us to bring the best of technology, support and patient care to meet the Government of India's goal and improving the lives of TB patients.